My name is Parag Kachalya, and I practice in San Ramon, California. And it's my great pleasure to you today to introduce two applications I use in my own practice when I work with my patients. We live in a new world of customization and instant gratification. And we must think about how our practices must evolve in order for patients to have appropriate buy-in. In today's world, seeing is believing. And Medit's smile design and clinic cat apps allow us to form deeper connections with our patients. In 2016, Satya Nadella of Microsoft made a very profound statement when he said, the true scarce commodity of the near future will be human attention. If we pause for a moment and think about this, a reality sets in that we're constantly competing for attention. In fact, one may argue that the bombardment of screens around us has rewired our brains. Traditionally, about 66% of the population will learn visually, and about one-third will learn auditorily. In today's fast-moving world, a spoken or written message can be lost at times, and a visual cue of some kind is needed to grab one's attention. In fact, it's not uncommon to see a group of people or friends around a table where each is engaging more with the screen on their phone than the human beside them. A significant reason for this change in engagement is because the devices in our pockets have allowed us to have immersive experiences and curate the content we want to have. This curation can range from the type of car that will take us to our next location, to the layout of an Airbnb, to the type of movie we may want to watch on any given night, or simultaneously satisfying a group of people that have various culinary choices. Each one of these businesses has allowed the customer to play a significant role in their product or service selection. And we've moved far past the one-size-fits-all market. This personalized approach is starting to occur in different aspects of healthcare. Robust graphic processors have unleashed artificial intelligence and imaging innovation. Most recently, I myself was looking for a pair of glasses. And from the comfort of my own home, I was able to decide on a Sunday afternoon what glasses I want to virtually try on at Warby Parker. And I was able to go through a selection of frames and make the selection that made sense for me. And I made that selection prior to actually being shipped or trying it on my own face. This has allowed me to have an experience that was personal, yet not feel the pressure of a salesperson at a retail establishment. It allowed me to have an emotional response, yet the freedom of making a decision on my time. Now, have we done anything in dentistry to duplicate such a model? Our smile is one of the most personal things we have. Yet for years, many of us have been guilty of asking patients to pick the type of smile they want from a coffee table book or a printout of 12 smile options that were presented in different education programs over the last 25 years. I had these in my own office about 10 years ago. These types of guides can serve as a great starting point, but in today's economy, they're not enough. Patients expect more. They must have simulation options relevant to them. They need to have an emotional response that takes things beyond a commodity. They need to feel the smile that may be in their mouth. Now, over the last 10 years, various options have existed to create smile simulation in dentistry, and they have all worked reasonably well. However, they did have somewhat of a learning curve and required a significant investment of time and finances to accomplish a reasonable result. In an ideal world, smile design applications would be a nice add-on to our intro scanning systems and have a very low learning curve. This integration can allow us to deliver something very tangible during routine examinations. This is exactly what is possible with the Medit Smile Design app. In a straightforward four-step process, any team member in the office can develop a simulation for a patient to show them the possibilities of a life-changing smile. Now, we can start by simply importing one simple full-face photo. We can supplement that with an additional photo with maybe retractors to show the teeth in more view. We can then apply some simple facial landmarks and once we apply the facial landmarks, we can take a series of different smiles, six frames, and put that in the patient's mouth and apply a real color. In less than five minutes, we can transform a patient's life by giving the ability to see themselves with a smile they've always dreamed of. In this video, we imported a single photo. I marked the eyes, the nose, and the philtrum. Okay, so I marked some simple outlines initially. I marked the internal asp of the lip. I can quickly do this so the AI knows what to look for and what to focus on. We then go ahead and it applies 
different sets of teeth. I have six options I can pick from, and I put these teeth in place. Now, in this particular patient's case, I had to adjust the two central incisors. So I go ahead and adjust the two central incisors and make them a similar length slightly longer than the lateral incisors. Once I do this, I quickly click on the texture key. Now, the native texture that's built into the system gives me a very reasonable result. I click the texture, I'm showing the patient the case, and very quickly they can see what is possible. One of the beauties of this is in the Medit platform, I can actually take my own cases, the texture of my ceramics, and take those cases and apply it to my patients. So once I show the patient what was possible with a built-in kind of algorithms that are there and the texture that's been built in, I then click on this custom texture library. And when I do that, I have one of five smiles I've imported I can pick from. And I take my own case I've done in other people's mouths and apply it to this patient with the shapes I wanted. And I go ahead and get that baseline and I modify slightly based on the color that's appropriate for that patient. This patient wants lifelike color. They want something appropriate for them in their mouth. And very quickly, we make the color reasonable that works for their smile. And the simple slider, I'm able to go left, right, and show them what's possible. As we discussed in the last case, in the Meta app, I've imported five different cases. I use those for various patients. This patient had different needs. So in this patient's case, this patient came in asking for four veneers. She said, doctor, I want four veneers. And I said to her, let's not lock into a number. Let's talk about your case. Let me show you what different numbers of teeth can look like. So the very first thing I did is I designed the 2D smile design with a few simple clicks based on the ideal format that I see. I built the dentition out to be able to have eight teeth, and I liked how that looked. So we started there. Then what I said from that standpoint, I said, let's go forward. Let me put things side by side. Let me capture that screenshot. I can even export a JPEG image of it. I then go into my next screen. I then simply take off from those eight veneers, I sequentially take off some of the veneers. So what you see in option number two here is I take off the veneers on the first bicuspids. I pull those teeth off. And I'm able to show her what six veneers looks like. So very quickly, I'm not redoing a smile design. All I'm doing is simply pulling off two restorations. By simply pulling off two restorations, I now show her the option of six. We take it a step forward. Remember, she was interested in eight, or in four, and I thought eight was the right number. So I then did in this example, as I went ahead and said, let's take off the canines. I then pull off the canines, pull two more teeth off, and I show her what four looks like. This is no longer me telling her what she needs to have done. Instead, I'm empowering my patient to make a choice. I'm giving them options. I'm giving them the baseline smile where they came in with, and options of four veneers, six veneers, or eight veneers and I empower them to make their decision versus picking from some kind of a catalog. She ultimately had full confidence in us and then decided to have six veneers placed in her mouth. In the first case I showed you, which appears on the right-hand side, you see the older patient who wanted an age-appropriate smile, which we simulated to appropriate color, and here's a restoration we delivered in her mouth. And the other patient that wanted four veneers, we ended up doing six, that was the right number for her. She felt that gave her the beautiful smile she wanted and we're able to treatment plan dentistry that's appropriate for the patient and fulfills their needs. That is one of the big benefits of 2D simulation today. Now, over these last few years, Medit has expanded tremendously. And what we've talked about thus far is really the 2D world. So now we're gonna go from the 2D world into the 3D world, is this next stage. So as we go to the 3D world, one thing to think about is, in the Medit platform, the apps are the differentiator from other control scanners. It's a phenomenal scanner, but what you can do with the scanner, how you can take that data and do something else with it, is really the beauty of it. A new app in the Medit arsenal is something called Clinic CAD. Clinic CAD allows us to go into the 3D space. So Medit has expanded into this 3D world, and at this time, it's not meant to replace you know, other robust 3D design software. However, it does allow one to complete certain solutions pertinent to restore to practice. This is an incredibly elegant solution and a great option, especially if you're considering 3D printed provisionals or temporaries. Now for some time, Meta has had AI generated design for single unit temporaries, 
where we can mark the margin, identify where the tooth is, and very quickly a design will pop into place. While this is a nice to have, the use case is most impactful for multiple restorations. Printing a single unit provisional today can be a bit time consuming versus traditional analog techniques. However, multiple units are an entirely different story. In the case I like to share with you, that's what we did. So utilizing the Medic Clinic CAD app, we quickly designed a provisional for a three unit bridge where the software will auto generate the Pontic as well as take a look at the margins, mark the margins if they're nice and clear, go ahead and you can adjust the margins as needed as a clinician. And once you've told the software and confirmed where the margins are, you progress through the system. And as we progress through the system, what ends up happening is a proposal comes into place. And that proposal then goes down to the margins. In the PONIC space, the intaglio, the underlying surface, can even be adapted to the tissue and any contour adjustments can be made just like any other 3D software. One key difference, however, is the software can be run on a Mac as well as a PC. In my opinion, this offers even greater compatibility. I personally like to use in the Mac ecosystem because it gives me simplicity in my purchasing choices for a computer, but the decision is yours. It gives us flexibility. Now in this case, once the initial design was done, what I wanted to do is modify my connectors. This patient's gonna be in the provisional or temporary for quite some time, and I wanna make sure there's no fractures. So within the software, I have the ability to adjust my connectors so that they're appropriate what I believe is gonna be correct for this patient. Once I'm happy with the final design, I can simply export an STL. I don't need to import it into some other software to do that. All I need to do is export the STL file and then bring that STL file into my printing platform. So I go ahead and bring it over and then print the material that I choose. And in this case, I decided to print multiple. So I, print, I printed three different restorations so they can serve as a backup. And that minimum material cost is almost irrelevant, right? And there's essentially no increase in printing time. In approximately 30 minutes, we were able to go from design to delivery of this provisional in a patient's mouth. This is the beauty of digital dentistry. The world is evolving. And then its 2D and 3D applications are allowing us to elevate the possibilities for our patients. I first started testing intraoral scanners back in 2008. And back then, it would take us 25 minutes to scan both arches and a bite registration for a scan that was not even color. And all that did was replace impression material. We've come an incredibly long way. Intro scanning mixed with a little bit of photography opens up an entirely new world of possibilities. In today's world, in 25 minutes, we can go from intro scan, smile design, patient communication for their new patient examination, and maybe even design some 3D printed restorations. The beauty of digital dentistry today is it allows us to open up a new world of possibilities and truly engage our patients where our patients ultimately have phenomenal trust in us. I wanna thank you for your time today and allowing me to share my journey with the Meta Platform.